what's going on guys, my name's Rav, and if there's one thing that I love in an anime series, it's continuity. Pokemon Journeys has proven itself to not only be a distinctive series, but also the series that has complemented continuity on a high scale. This hasn't only been due to flashbacks, but also the returning appearances of characters Ash has met along his journey, with the most noticeable being his companions. We've already seen some of Ash's companions return, and with the highly anticipated Ash vs Leon battle in the Masters 8 to come, many including myself are beginning to question whether or not if all of Ash's companions will return. But is it as really as easy for all of them to return as many expect. That's something we're going to be discussing today. There's a bunch of information to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support, and I'll be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you're not ready to keep up to date, and without further ado, Let's begin. This video is sponsored by Sakurako. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box full of 19 traditional, authentic and artisan snacks and also one kitchenware delivered straight from Japan to your door. Sakurako personally curates and provides authentic Japanese sweets, snacks, tea and much more from local makers in Japan every month, sent in the box to the subscriber's door all the way across the world from Japan. The goal of Sakurako is for their subscribers to experience authentic Japan wherever they are in the world, and they also work very hard in supporting local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with a detailed booklet explaining every snack included inside, with information about allergies and the overall Japanese culture that you can learn about them. I've had snacks from Sakurako before and I can 100% vouch for how tasty they are. It really is the ideal gift for your loved ones, or heck, why not grab some of these delicious snacks for yourself? This month's box theme is Sakura Afternoon Tea and you guys can all enjoy a Hanama picnic at your homes. Use my code PokerF to get $5 off your first Sakurako box. You can claim this code from the link in the description below. Huge thank you again to Sakurako for sponsoring this video. So I've spoken about the topic a few times now in some of my videos, outlining the potential way all of Ash's companions could return. Thanks to various interviews from the talented creators behind Pokemon Journeys, we've been given an indication that maybe the possibility of more, if not all companions, returning in this series could become a reality in the future. However, there is much more to consider than rather than just a companion simply returning. Let's break down every companion that has returned so far, alongside the companions that are yet to return. Also, before we inspect, I'm only counting main companions that were travelling with Ash in a set series, so characters like Gary and Karina who travelled temporarily will not be accounted for. At the time of this video, we've seen seven of Ash's past companions return in Pokemon Journeys. The first set of companions to return were Ash's Alola friends. In episode 37 of Pokemon Journeys, we saw Ash reunite with Marlo, Kiawe, Sophocles and Lana. We did also see a flashback segment of Lily and Gladion in the episode, but I'll touch upon that later. In episode 65, we saw the return of Unova companion Iris, including a flashback of fellow Unova companion Silent. But hold that thought too. Progressing into the series, the Sinnoh Summer and Winter special arcs brought back our beloved Dawn, who also played a role in the Legends Arceus special arc. And sticking on topic to this arc, we also saw the return of legendary original companion Brock. This makes a total of 7 companions that have returned so far. We have had companions such as Tracy be mentioned in flashbacks as well, but that's simply a flashback appearance, and not a direct return appearance. So if we take this into consideration, we have 9 companions that are still yet to return in this series. These are Misty, Tracy, May, Max, Silen, Clemon, Bonnie, Serena, and Lily. We haven't had any solid confirmation just yet if every character will be returning, however this is where the main topic of discussion for the video comes into play. Before I begin, the details I'll be discussing are in no particular order, this is just pure speculation. Let's start off by talking about interviews that have outlined relevant information. Back in Pash's August 2020 issue, Mr Yasuda, the character director for Pokemon Journeys, mentioned how characters from the past will appear more frequently in the series, and we've seen this already with the collection of characters to date. In June 2021, Mr Tomiyasu, director of the series, dropped a big interview with Team Kato stating that the possibility of bringing back every companion in Pokemon Journeys is now a possibility, and something they wish to pursue. They mentioned how in the past series it was hard to implement this due to story constrictions and other arrangements, however it seems like Journeys could be the perfect opportunity to do this. In July 2021, the director of Pokemon Journeys, Jun Awada, mentioned in an interview from the month's issue of Spoon 2D magazine that the team are working very hard to bring back every past character companion from the anime, to maintain the viewership of long-term fans. This then brings us to December 2021, in which we had an interview from Animedia with Pokemon Jones producer Mayu Noyaguchi, who mentioned how in 2022 they plan to hopefully bring back Ash's companions and rivals. Taking all these details into consideration from official interviews, there seems to be some potential light at the end of the tunnel. I'm now going to break down each character, analysing where they left off in their respective series, alongside inspecting elements in terms of their voice actors, 
overall plot, and any other constraints to see if it would be easy to bring them back in Pokemon Journeys. Firstly, we have Misty. Misty is one of the original companions of Ash, who is loved hugely by the fanbase. She's returned multiple times with appearances most noticeably made in the Advanced Generation Sun and Moon series. For what we know of her Japanese voice actor, she does seem to be active still, and this is the same for her English voice actor, who is currently pursuing the role as Jessie. I reckon in light of the anime's 25th anniversary, Misty could appear once again, maybe alongside Brock, but I'll elaborate on that later. The Kanto trio are iconic for not only being stepping stones for the anime, but for also being very influential and motivational characters. Next up is Tracy. Now despite us seeing Tracy shown in a cameo back in episode 65, I reckon he could return. Despite having intermittent cameos in various seasons, we haven't actually seen him reappear physically. Tracy's Japanese voice actor has been active recently in a few projects, and considering he is Professor Oak's assistant, the likelihood of him reappearing could be plausible. All depending on the workload, of course. Next, we have Mei. Haruka's return may be a bit of a tricky one, and I would highly recommend reading this article by Togasu, who explains the situation in its entirety. But here's the brief. Mei's Japanese voice actor Kairi developed a throat condition that caused her to retire from the acting and singing professions she had. During her return in Diamond and Pearl, the condition had an impact on her voice during this series. Since her retirement, Kairi has mentioned on her blog how she has been trying to maintain the condition, despite some medicines not helping it. It's really sad that such a talented voice actress and singer has had their life tips upside down. We can only show Kairi the utmost support and kindness, but for now, we have no idea on how she will return to the anime in heights of resuming her role as main. It's also a bit hard to keep up to date with her seeing as she doesn't have any social media either, but maybe something will arise in the future. But until then, we just have to patiently wait for any information. Max is next, and he too may be a bit of a tricky one. In respect of Kairi and Mei's character, I'm struggling to figure out how Max could return in this series. We know he was aspiring to become the next Petalburg gym leader after his father Norman, but following the topic of May's uncertainty in returning, it feels like that Max would be in the same boat. Max and May are siblings, and the only logical option I could see them is being referenced in a cameo flashback, just like how he was in the Diamond and Pearl series, when May returned for the Wallace Cup. Alternatively, I could only see him returning maybe for a brief episode to have a casual battle with Ash if he ever went to revisit the Petalburg gym, and then this could lead to a May flashback, with Max potentially explaining how she's still travelling. But apart from that, if May doesn't return, then I doubt Max will either, especially seeing as his voice actor hasn't been in any recent projects. We then have Silent. Already making a cameo appearance in a flashback from the Iris episode, his voice actor is very popular, taking part in a variety of ongoing projects. It may be quite tricky for OLM to recall him due to his busy work schedule, but if it's just for a single episode or two-parter, then it may be doable. Callow siblings Bonnie and Clement are next. Both voice actors have been partaking in active work, and they're actually very well known. We even got a nice tweet not long ago of both of them reuniting, and it was very wholesome. In terms of reintroductions, we do know that the Kalos gang are yet to make an appearance in the series. Whether or not if they will be shown in the next opening is another story, but still. They are both in high anticipation of a return, and depending on the schedules of the voice actors, it could be possible. This then leads to Serena, probably the most anticipated character to return at this point. With Serena currently said to be in Hoenn, I really do reckon that she could return again, and I've already spoken about a few theories on how this could happen. Serena's voice actor has been active in a few small projects, and also on her blog page. With a high profile like this, it's bound to cause some uproar in demand, and also controversy depending on the clash of viewers' egos. But if she did return, then I think it's fair to say that the fanbase would explode. Finally, we have Lily. Lily's voice actor is actually someone who is active in the current series, voicing Go when he was age 6, and also Nurse Joy. In relation to the flashback segment from the Lola reunion episode, it seems that the potential reappearance is likely. We know that Lily, Gladion and their mother Lucimine left Alola in search of their father and beloved husband Mon, and from what we saw in Journeys, the search is still ongoing. So it begins to question if Lily returning is very likely to happen in this series. Now that we have a rough image about each character and their voice actor, another topic of discussion to talk about is recasts. In very rare occasions, voice actors tend to be recasted. This may be due to an unfortunate circumstance or potential controversial issue. An example of this has already happened with Raihan's voice actor who was recently recasted. So many ask the question, why not recast in general to fill up the existing characters like May? You could, but that's almost like a detriment to how Japan casts voice actors. Seiyus are well-respected people, and it's not something that falls easily within audiences for a simple recast. It's like a sign of respect to not recast that character. But depending on the fanbase, viewers may not respect this decision, leading to a decline in viewership overall. For me personally, if something tragically happened to a voice actor, then that's when the recast should happen. If there's a character that needs to be shown at an ongoing rate, then it's fine. But if it's someone who is well known for a certain role that is ill or unable to complete work anymore, then it's best to leave them to prevent any further complications. Of course, voice acting in Japan is completely different to the dub as we're aware of. 
So how could everyone return? Well as mentioned in the past, I think the best way everyone could return would be to see Ash take on Leon in the final of the PWC. With the 25th anniversary of the Pokemon anime approaching, it's all up in the air at the moment if this will mark the end of Ash's journey. He's taken part in the biggest competition against the world champion Leon, and in light of this battle, I honestly think every companion could return in a form of a massive reunion to support all of the interviews that have been mentioned. It's actually crazy to think how perfect this art by my friend Legacy portrays the potential possibility. With the 25th anniversary of the anime approaching, I wouldn't be surprised if a big event like this happens with the writers and directors confirming that they wish to bring everyone back, especially for such a climatic battle like this. While taking into consideration the various constraints and current statuses of voice actors, it may not be so easy to implement this after all, but I guess only time will tell. I would also love to give a huge shout out to my friend Legacy for the amazing art concept of what the huge reunion would look like. This graphic was actually created in celebration of his birthday recently, and he decided to gift us all this outstanding art piece. So please support his art and check out his Twitter page for more amazing graphics and edits. But why not let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Team PokerF Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave it a like as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my videos and click on the little bell to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.